How's it going y'all? Eric here and welcome to Speed Week. That's right, singular this year. It's the week of the Daytona 500. The NASCAR season is here and with a new NASCAR season comes of course an all new fleet of NASCAR paint schemes. We've been reacting to a lot of the trendy paint schemes in recent weeks but today I figured we'd look at every single brand new 2021 Cup Series paint scheme that's been revealed so far and I thought we could put them in a, in a tier list of sorts. You guys remember tier lists? They were all the rage like one or two summers ago. Well, I have made my own version of a tier list and it's called the Groovy Grid. So I have compiled a list of pretty much every new to 21 paint scheme I could find. I'm not going to look at schemes that really haven't changed from last year to this year. I'm not looking at that Pennzoil car again. We're keeping things fresh. Let's go through this list now and put these paint schemes on the Groovy Grid. To keep things simple and organized, we're going to go in numerical order. So we'll start with Brad Keselowski's Keystone Light Car. It's okay. It's it's a ripoff of the Bush Bush Light car. It looks the exact same as what Bush Beer's been doing. This is a Miller Light brand. This it's kind of disappointing. Not gonna lie. I mean, it looks nice. The rendering's okay, but we're not starting off that strong. I'm gonna put this in D tier. It's just a worse version of the Bush Beer paint schemes. All right. Austin Dillon's got some new Bass Pro Shops colors. It's not bad. It's not nearly as good as the silver uh, trim car he had last year that he won at Texas with. I hope this looks good on the track. I hope that neon orange and the sort of accents and the, the streaks, I hope those pop, but man, we're not off to a super inspiring start. I, I gotta put this in D tier as well. Just cause it's not nearly as good as last year's Bass Pro Shops game. I loved that, that car last year. Oh, oh, and now a green car. This is a little bit different than his Hunt Brothers pizza cars in years past, but I, I just don't really like the Hunt Brothers cars. I don't know why. I gotta be honest, this is another D paint scheme for me. I'm not a fan of it. You guys know I don't love green cars and this one just, I don't like it, I'm sorry. Oh, and speaking of green cars, I'm like, we're off to a terrible start. I shouldn't have gone in numerical order. Uh, you guys know I don't really like this paint scheme. It's the exact same design as the HendrickCars.com. Hendrick has run for decades at this point. I don't really like the blue and red on the Hendrick Cars version. I really don't like the black and green here. They could have done something different. This is a Hendrick sponsor. You have Nations Guard and Nuke. You could have gotten creative with the designs, done something great with it. Instead, no, you stuck with old reliable and just changed the colors. I, I hate it. This is an F. This is a fail. Uh, Kyle Larson, I hope his, his other paint schemes are better than this one because this is not an inspiring start by any means. So this is an F. I, I'm really pessimistic this morning. This is this is unfortunate. We shouldn't have done this in numerical order. This was a mistake. Yeah, wow. This, this one's not great either. Remember when this one was revealed, they teased it but they they blanked out the logo on the hood and everyone thought oh viagra's coming back it's great it's amazing and then it was you know kohler generators you know just no disrespect to them great to have a new sponsor in this sport this one's not that great this is uh, uh let's just keep be consistent I'll put it in d tier as well I, I know there's some really good ones coming so i gotta free up some space in those uh abc and of course the groovy tier there at the top here we go all right leave it to oscar meyer to get us Rolling nice and good here. It's bright. It's colorful. Y'all know I often like bright and colorful paint schemes. This is just a rendering, but I know based on last year's schemes and the year before schemes what the Oscar Mayer cars often look like. So I have a feeling this thing's going to look delicious on the racetrack. This looks better than last year's uh, Oscar Mayer cars, quite honestly, because they actually have a hot dog clearly illustrated there. They got the mustard streak. I'm sure they have ketchup on here somewhere. I need a better photo, but uh, yeah, this is an A-tier scheme. I love the Oscar Mayer cars, and I have a feeling this one will fit right in with the best of them. Ugh, I was hoping we could get Get two in a row that were good, but no, this one sucks. <laughs> this one is terrible. F tier for this one. Uh, I'm sorry. It's it's plain white with like what light greenish blue. What is uh, Ash Ashwagandha U theory? I don't I don't know what the sponsor is. The design is boring. It's no no. I, I'm sorry. I, I don't like this. Does not look cool. This does not scream cool fast race car to me. This this is an F tier man. We need something to turn this around. Something has to go well here. Come on. There we go. Thank you. Goodness gracious. From the worst to the best. This is uh, this is fantastic. Yep. I think we might have our first groovy tier ranking of the day. Yeah, I, I got to give it to the this uh, Alan Colwicky. You know, the Hooters car sort of loosely inspired by it with the white and the orange. Of course, they're working out of the same garage and they share the seven number now. Uh, flame schemes, when they're done right, they're particularly special. This one feels really, really good. So uh, I'm excited. The only thing I find a little weird about this scheme is the color temperature or tone of the number seven is a little bit different than the orange everywhere else on the scheme. That seems a little weird to me. I feel like that should match a little bit, but I'll let it slide. This is fantastic. I gotta, we gotta turn things around. Put this thing in the groovy tier. We gotta get some positivity in this. Oh, oh man. Are we ever gonna get two good schemes in a row? This one sucks. This is terrible. You know, with all the talk of NASCAR wanting to slide the door numbers back to make more room for sponsorship logos, 
What the hell is Lenovo RCR doing? Look at all this wasted space on this paint scheme. That Lenovo logo is tiny. There's so much space they could be using that they're not even trying to use. I mean, the black and blue is fine, but it doesn't match the red logo. It's This is a bad scheme. I got to put this in the F tier as well. Come on. We need, we need some good vibes here. We need some good paint schemes. Come on, NASCAR. Come on, teams. Okay. Actually, this one's not bad either. All right. I'll put this in A tier. Cheddars. I love me some Cheddars. They got those croissants, those buttery, flaky croissants there on the on the front of the car, actually going all the way across the side of the car. That's pretty cool. I like the, the gradient from white into the kind of an orangey yellow and then the dark reddish orange brown, the color of cheddars. Actually, I like this scheme quite a bit. Yeah, A tier for this one. All right. Okay, can we get two in a row? Can we get two good paint schemes in a row here? Oh. <laughs> No, no, why? Why this? I should not have gone in numerical order. This was my mistake. I asked for this. Why? I'm sorry, guys. No matter what you say in the comments, I will never, I will never like these Lumar schemes as long as they continue to put the random blue door and roof numbers. What the heck? I Honestly, last year's Alex Bowman scheme was maybe my favorite Lumar scheme uh, in recent memory. This one's not terrible. In fact, I'll put it in I'll put it in D tier. I'm not going to fail it. I'm not going to fail this thing. That D tier is becoming quite quite busy down there, but goodness me, I still don't love these paint schemes. I'm sorry, guys. All right, all right, come on. Here we go. All right, the champion getting a little facelift. That's right. His Napa scheme's getting a slight adjustment. Just kind of added some yellow streaks, some stuff there on the side skirt as well. This one's pretty good. I like his his traditional Napa scheme. This isn't too far off from that. I'll put this in B tier. I like that the champion's getting a small facelift, and I like that they added some yellow, um, but... I don't know, not a whole lot else to say about this game, but it, it's B. This is a decent one. This is a good one. Okay, Eric Almarola. Oh, I don't know what to think of this one. See, on one hand, I actually kind of like that rustic uh, checkered flag, you know, tattered pattern going across the uh, contingency panel there. But at the same time, I don't like, I don't really like the, uh, the hood, the hood design. Like that doesn't pop. Nobody's going to be able to read what that says. Nobody's going to see the Smithfield logo. So that seems like a, a miss in my opinion. Uh, I'll put it in C tier. This is a very average paint scheme because some things I like, some things I don't like. Overall, it's not bad, so it's average. I'll put it in C tier. Got to put some cars in C tier now. Okay, all right. I almost said Clint Boyer, but Chase Briscoe, uh, the Killer Bees. Look at this scheme. Very similar to his uh, to his uh, Xfinity car from last year. I like this one quite a bit as well. You know, Boyer, Briscoe, B. I'll put this thing in B tier. I think this is a good paint scheme. This one's solid. Ooh, and speaking of the Killer Bees, Chris Busher. Get out of the way, Busher. I need to see this car. Whoa, Castrol. I liked Castrol's 2020 scheme quite a bit they had on Newman's car. I assume they'll be back on Newman's car this year as well, but maybe they're just on Busher's car. This looks really, really nice. I, I'm i digging it. I know I usually hate green paint schemes, but I got to give this one some love. Shoot, I'll put this in groovy tier. The green and red giving me Christmas in July vibes, even though we're in February, but it's, it looks great. Wow, this is surprisingly really, really sharp. All right, fast and all, okay. I, this one's different than past years. I like the, the all white hood with the, the logo, very clear. Um, it's not, not super exciting beyond that. I'll put this one in C tier, I think. Y yeah, this, this one belongs in, in C tier, I think. Ooh, the auto owner's car is back and they've made some changes. I like the two tone, the two different blues there on the hood, also on the side, sort of fades into the dark blue on the back. I like this scheme a lot. I saw some people on Twitter hating on this paint scheme saying, oh, how'd you take that car and make it so much worse? I don't agree. I, I actually think this looks really, really good. Uh, I don't think it's quite groovy tier. It's not quite as bright and eye-catching as my favorite auto owner scheme from a few years back, but I'll put this in A tier. The big Reesers logo on the side is, is a bit out of place, but other than that, this thing looks sharp. I'll put it in A tier to match to match the letter on the hood. <laughs> oh baby, oh I know what's coming. The Christopher Bell schemes, the 20 car, they are here. This one's nice. It's not that different from his scheme last year. There's a little more red. They got rid of a lot of the white and replaced it with red, so I like that a lot. I feel like this paint, this photo is making this scheme look way more badass than it actually is going to be on the track, so I'm not going to fall for it and put it in groovy tier. No, I'm not going to put it quite there just yet, but I'll put it in A tier. We're on a roll right now. we got some really good paint schemes coming out right now. I'll put this in A tier. Really good, but I know what's coming up next. Oh, my babies, the DeWalt paint schemes. Yes, the yellow and black has not looked this good 
really in, in probably a couple of years. I mean, Eric Jones' car last year was fantastic. He just didn't run the DeWalt colors that much. Really, all the yellow and black DeWalt schemes throughout history have been almost perfect universally. I love the black and yellow. I am biased because I grew up a Matt Kenseth fan and the yellow and black DeWalt colors still feel nostalgic to me, but this whole list is biased. I mean, it's all about my biases. These are my paint scheme, paint scheme opinions. Everyone's gonna have different ones. Yeah, this is a groovy tier without a doubt. Oh my God, the Irwin tools. I don't know if this one's actually different than last year's, but either way, the rendering looks gorgeous. Yeah, oh, that's perfect. Oh, oh, Stanley tools as well. I forgot about this one. Give me a, you know, old school Dollar General Matt Kenseth vibes as well in this one. Some people were saying, ah, JGR, you missed with this scheme. I don't agree. It's simple, but oh my gosh, is this thing going to stand out on the racetrack? Yeah, no, this is great as well. Fantastic. The only thing that might have made this better, and I don't actually know this, but if they made the 20 on the side black, I, it wouldn't have matched the other schemes. It might not look as good as I'm thinking in my head, but that might have been really, really cool. The Craftsman car, yellow, red, blue, all the primary colors represented perfectly by the Craftsman DeWalt Stanley family of brands. My goodness, yeah, put them all in groovy tier. Just put them all together. These are beautiful. These renders are gorgeous. I hope these cars live up to the hype on track. This is, yeah, Craftsman Tools, Irwin, all the tool companies, man, killed it. Absolutely killed it this year. I am floored. <laughs> DoorDash for Bubba Wallace. I like this scheme pretty well. Again, it's very simple. The big DoorDash logo is super prominent on the hood, looks really clean. A few people pointed this out after I reacted to this on an Out of the Groove episode, and I didn't notice it at the time, but they're right. What the heck is the deal with the number on the door being slanted one direction and then that little white, you know, design being slanted against it? So you get the logos and the design are like this together. Why would you not, you know, point them the same direction? Have them like this. I, I feel like that was a no-brainer. They must have tried it and maybe it looks weird or something, but that's the only thing. It feels like they're clashing a little bit with how the logos and the door numbers are angled and everything, but I'll let it slide. This is good. I'll put this in A tier, actually. This looks really sharp. Uh, the other 2311 car, this is Ty Dillon's car for the Clash. It's not bad. I mean, the orange is kind of kind of grungy a little bit. It's a, a very dark uh, orange, I'd say. Not bad. Uh, it's again, it's very clear. The logos are very clear on it. It's it's simple, but not not bad at all. I, I know that's not great commentary. I'll give it a C. I'll put it in C tier. Ooh, hello, Liberty University trying something a little bit different this year. I forgot about this paint scheme. This looks pretty good as well. Of course, the red, white, and blue. That's their colors. That's their thing. The flames. I like that Liberty's. You know, still sticking with the flames uh, in a very subtle way, but a very clear and and very clean looking way. That looks nice. I also kind of like the red glow or shadow, the drop shadow on the 24 on the side. That that looks pretty neat. As as well. Uh, I'll put the, uh, this will sneak into A tier. I was thinking B, but no, I'll put this in A tier. That's not bad. Oh yes, this scheme got a lot of people talking a few weeks back. I like that they're trying something different. I like that they didn't just stick with another Jeff Gordon flame scheme ripoff. They tried something a little bit different here. The, the matte black with the uh, shiny colors on it does look pretty cool in some of those uh, promotional videos they posted. Um, that being said, like I said on my Out of the Groove episode, I don't think this is a better scheme than the flame scheme. I just like that they tried something different and they're, maybe this will grow on me throughout the year, maybe it won't. I'll put it in B tier. It's still a good scheme. I actually like it quite a bit, but uh, we'll see how I feel about this thing in like August, you know, once we've seen it a few times and, and maybe they'll adjust on it a little bit. Uh, I, I like it though. B tier for me. Austin Sindrick. Uh, this is another B tier, I think. You know, not as colorful as the last one, but very bold. Again, the logos are really clear. The design is simple subtle but effective and i like the again i like the red outline of the 33 car on the black paint scheme that's pretty that's pretty cool as well this will be yeah this is a b, a b tier scheme for austin center hopefully we see this thing a few times this year uh, okay i immediately immediate reactions are i like the the logo on the hood it's super bold and clear i like the black number on the door also that's pretty neat other than that it's kind of forgettable. I'll, I'll put it in. I'll put it in C tier. Uh, it's not a great scheme. It's certainly not a bad scheme. It's an average one. I'll put it in C. Not bad. Certainly not bad. All right. Oh, this car. Forgot about this car. Dude wipes for Anthony Alfredo. This looks like the uh, the one that Noah Gragson's going to run the Daytona 500. I guess I can react to both of those at the same time. They look kind of similar. Uh, but this one looks cool. I like the light blue. I like the black. I wish I, I need to find like a better photo of the hood. But this is okay. I'll put it in C tier as well. And same with that Noah Gragson uh, 62 car. Yeah, for a Beard Motorsports. It's 
you know, this is a, a familiar paint scheme. It's not my favorite scheme in the world. I do think it's cool. It's not in this photo, but uh, Noah Gragson's putting Mark Beard's name above the driver's side door. Of course, the team owner who unfortunately passed away uh, last week. So that's really cool that Gragson and Beard Motorsports are doing that. Scheme looks decent. I, they, they, they look very similar. The 38 and the 62 look quite similar. I'll put them both in C tier together. Cole Custer, Haas. No, oh, man, we're on such a good roll, but this is a dud. Yeah, this, this goes in D tier. I think it's just boring. I mean, maybe that gray, that silver is going to really shine and look fantastic on the track so perhaps I'll regret this this ranking but just looking at it in the render it's not very exciting I miss the uh, Daniel Suarez sort of glitchy uh, pixelated version of the scheme that was much more black and red focused that was a really good scheme the silver I hope looks good I'm not confident it will I'm, I bet the wrapping and it's probably gonna look really dull but maybe I'll stand corrected on that uh, oh this is a new sponsor new colors giving me New York Yankees pinstripe vibes it's kind of like it almost looks like the pattern or the, the texture is like a wood paneling, sort of. And then there's kind of the faded baby blue. This isn't bad. It's It doesn't scream, you know, super fast, hardcore, epic race car necessarily. But it's I'll put it in C tier. This one might grow on me as the year goes on, though. We'll see how many races he runs it in. This is not bad. Not bad. I forgot about this one. This one should surprise me. Oh. Oh, my. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Revealed this week. We have an early contender for paint scheme of the year. Eric Jones's Daytona 500 car. Wow. <laughs> they finally found a fluorescent orange scheme to match the ridiculous fluorescent orange roof number that they insist on putting on all of their paint schemes and often ruins them. Wow. Armor All is an STP brand, so that's why the STP sticker is very prominently displayed as well. This looks super, super super nice. Yeah, this has to be a groovy tier. My goodness. This is going to be a tough one to beat. Holy, holy moly. Bush Clash car for Jones. Also not bad. Very pretty blue. Similar similar looking design down there on the like the, the side skirt area. Eh, a little bit different, I guess. Um, you got the orange roof number, though, and see it looks a little out of place here. Um, this one's good. I'll put this one in, in B tier. B tier, not quite as exciting as the last one. Certainly not as exciting as the last one, but still a solid sort of almost petty blue style scheme. That's pretty cool. What is this? Okay, I like the hood. I like the design on the hood. It's really simple. The Kroger logo is super clear, but what's going on with the side of this thing? You got two different streaks going two different directions at two different angles, two different colors. I, I see what they're doing here. It's a NOS energy scheme from the back half, you know, the back, the side of the car on back. So that's why there's red, but it just doesn't match. This thing looks, no, it, it's not good. I, I'm going to put this one in the F tier. I'm sorry. It's no, I'm, and I know we're going to probably see this scheme a lot this year. So that makes me a little has me a little bummed out. Oh yes, oh boy, Alex Bowman's ally scheme. I'm sorry, Jimmy Johnson fans, this is the best you know main ally scheme that has been run in NASCAR. I love Jimmy's silver car this last year and a couple of the other one-offs they ran, but as far as his main primary, the main ally scheme that we're gonna see most of the year, this one takes the cake. A lot of people didn't like the greenish blue, you know, trim and highlights and everything. I love it. I think that gives this thing a retro feel that's unmatched by many, many other cars in the NASCAR Cup Series. It looks great. And, and this rendering doesn't fully do it justice. You need to look at like a real photo. Yeah, like this, where you can really see what the base purple is going to look like. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Easy G groovy tier for me. I hope he runs well this year. This scheme looks gorgeous. Oh, and speaking of pretty purple cars, who, what the, ooh, Rick Ware Racing dropping some dimes. Where did this come from? I wish the design on the side actually looked good because the yellow and green there looks kind of stupid, but the purple is really pretty. Just because of the purple alone, I gotta put this in B tier. You guys know me, I love some good looking purple race cars, and this one, I mean, it got the purple right. <laughs> the rest of it's kind of wrong, but I'll put it in B. That's enough for me to say it's in B tier. That's pretty. Hey, Josh Balicki, look at you with the, ooh, black and yellow. Y'all know I like some black and yellow. This one's pretty good too. I gotta put this in B tier. I gotta show Rick Ware Racing and, and those cars some love as well. B tier for, uh, for Balicki here. Uh, Timmy Hills, 66. Okay, this. This is a kind of a low-res photo, but it the red seems kind of dull on this. It feels like if that red was popping a little bit more, I would put this higher, but because the red looks kind of dull, I gotta get put this thing in, in D tier, I think. The design's pretty decent. I just I just wish the wish the color was a little popped a little bit better, you know? If you have a bright red, you gotta take advantage of it. Uh, this photo is not doing it justice, maybe. Oh gosh, the spire cars. What is going on here? These I see what they're doing. The blue and the black are basically just swapped on each scheme. I, I don't know. Something about this isn't really working for me. I think it's the blue and the black are, are too close. They're too similar in color that that gradient just seems out of place. This just, 
this does not look like a paint scheme you'd see one of the top teams running. It's just something about the scheme looks like it looks like a Spire scheme. I, I don't know how to say that. It sounds very derogatory, but it's just this doesn't. I, I'm sorry. I got to put this in F. I don't. I don't really see what they're trying to do here. It doesn't. I'm sorry. It does not work for me. Uh, maybe I'll disagree. This one just. I can't really put my finger on. It. I think it's the black and the blue. This one doesn't work. I'm sorry, Spire. Hello. All right. Live fast motorsports. This one's interesting. You know, the bright blue and the green. It's okay. It's not really my style, but it's okay. Uh, the one thing I, I do question about this scheme are those black stripes, those streaks there on the hood. You know how, like, it looks like the car's damaged. You, you know, you'll see, like, teams bring out big pieces of tape and try to tape down the hood after they've been in a wreck. That's what this looks like. So this car looks like it's damaged a little bit on the hood because of those uh, Motorsport Games black and red logos. But other than that, the scheme's not too bad. I'll put it in I'll put it in C tier. It's got my boy Rusty on the car as well. That's fantastic. All right, we're getting near the end here. The 90 six of Ty Dillon with Bass Pro on the hood. You know, I'm not a big like camo guy. Like the camo style pattern isn't really my thing. But this looks, this looks good. It matches, of course, Bass Pro shops. It even kind of matches Black Rifle Coffee. Speaking of taking advantage of the space, look at how they did this on the side here. The Bass Pro Shops logo is there on the contingency panel. That Black Black Rifle Coffee logo is taking up the entire side panel. That's that's how you do it right there. Take notes. Who, who was it earlier that failed at this? Who, who was it? RCR, Lenovo, whoever it was, you know, but I'll put this in C tier. It's pretty solid. It's not bad. It's not great. I just am not a big fan of the camo colors and everything, but uh, that's just a personal thing. Overall, it's, it's actually pretty good. I think this is a decent scheme. Oh boy, we're going out with a bang. We've made it to the 99. Uh, I like this this one a lot. I do wish, like I said on my Out of the Groove episode, I wish they'd committed to the colorful pattern and just kept the colors going instead of the black hood and the black roof. I wish I wish they just kept the, the pretty colors of flow. And that being said, this still has to be... I know he has some really good ones coming. I'll put this in B tier just for that reason by itself, but I know these next ones are pretty special. Oh, wow. Yes. Oh, hits me every time I see it. K1 speed, like I've said, these cars, all these paint schemes look very modern. They look like modern race cars, which there's some good and bad with that, but I love that the K1 speed logo is super clear. That red, oh, I hope that red looks as good on the track as it does in this render right here, because that is deep, that is beautiful. I think we have another groovy tier nominee right here. Groovy tier for the K1 speed car. This makes me want to go drive go-karts for sure. Pump it up. This is a riskier scheme. I'll say this. I think the white spoiler on this scheme, a lot of paint schemes, a lot of cars just go with black spoilers. Doesn't matter what the paint scheme is. It could be super colorful. They'll just slap a plain black spoiler on it. Going with the white spoiler here, actually, I think enhances this paint scheme immensely. Of course, there's all the colors on the side and everything. That's pretty cool as well. We'll see how it looks on the track. I'll put this one in A tier. The spoiler helps it out a lot. I don't know why I feel that way, but that it's very subtle, but that's how I feel. And lastly, I believe this is the last one, I Fly. Red, white, and blue look super duper nice. Again, a very clean, modern, stylized design going on here. This one also belongs, I think, in A tier. A lot of great paint schemes coming out of Track House here to start the season, but I believe that's it. I believe we've made it through the entire list. Wow. All right, so there you have it. We got a few beautiful schemes here in groovy tier. I mean, all that Corey LaJoy, the, the flame schemes, gorgeous. All of the Christopher Bell, DeWalt, Stanley cars are perfect. Eric Jones in the orange armor all. That's great. I love the Ally car. Maybe some others will disagree. So uh, we do have some absolute bangers that are set to hit the track here at the start of 2021, but uh, also some some less lesser great ones. They're lower down the list. Let me know in the comments which of these you agree with, which you disagree with. Give me your grooviest paint schemes of the 2021 season. So far, there's still plenty more schemes that I'm sure will be revealed as the year goes on. New sponsors get signed, new designs get finished, but a pretty great start. Uh, we started out really bad in this video, but finished extremely strong. So I'm I'm feeling good. I'm feeling very, very good. Whoa, whoa, guys, I was wrapping up the video and we have another late entry. Denny Hamlin has a new sponsor. That's right, FedEx is not sponsoring every race this season. He's got a new scheme. Uh, wow. Ooh, offer pad. Wow. All right. Cool new sponsor. As for the scheme, I, 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 thought, I thought we were ending this one on a high note. Now I'm just... Now I'm just confused. I, I kind of like the orange on the hood, uh, the the dark grayish greenish blue. Oh yeah, I wow, this one really makes me feel weird. I don't I don't know where to stick this one. So we're gonna end this episode on a confusing note, not a high note, not a down note. We're all just confused. Let me know what you think of Hamlin's scheme down in the comments. My goodness, that's. What a way to end it. Thank you all for watching. Subscribe if you're new. We talk NASCAR daily. And now that the season is starting, business is only going to pick up. I'll see you all in the next video. Take care, everyone. Thanks for watching.